Much curious. Yesterday, we had a safety alert about a fire in Lawrenceburg that fire crews say was caused by a lithium ion battery pack. And while that fire was contained quickly, there's still a concern about the hazards associated with those lithium ion batteries. WKYT's Alexa Minton talked with a hazmat supervisor about the risk that can spark extra concern when it comes to battery fires. Lithium ion batteries can be found in a lot of common household items from cell phones and laptops to power tools to even electric vehicles on Kentucky roadways. However, you might be surprised to know they also pose a serious fire hazard and risk, making proper disposal and storage even more essential. That high potential amount of energy is also a high potential for danger as well. Lithium ion batteries have skyrocketed in popularity thanks to being fast charging and holding a long cycle of life. And while the perks might keep your cell phone charged longer when things go wrong, the consequences can have an explosive impact, literally. Whether from overheating or from physical damage or short circuiting, and what happens is, is that battery now goes through a thermal runway event causing off gassing and a, a very fast amount of toxic gas will be exposed as well as the heat and a lot of fire. Captain Jimmy Pereira is a hazmat supervisor with the Lexington Fire Department and he shared that when it comes to lithium battery fires, a different firefighting strategy is needed entirely. Water is not necessarily the thing that puts that battery out. They have to burn themselves out. Letting that fire burn is the best case scenario. Um, less manpower, less resources and less water runoff. That water is going to go into the into the ground. Items like electric vehicle fire blankets can help with battery fire suppression efforts and padding put over storm drains can help slow the flow of toxic battery water runoff. But safety always needs to lead first and there are some things we can do to reduce the risk of our everyday lithium ion battery items. With that great potential for energy, there's also a great potential for disaster. So we just make sure that you again you're using all the safety precautions, using the manufacturer's recommendations when it comes to how to charge that device. And when you're not charging it, unplug the device. For WKYT, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Alexa Minton. Well, the captain encourages people to watch out for overheating as you charge your electronics, including e-bikes and electric scooters. Even avoid charging your phone in your bed or near flammable materials. And if you are looking to dispose of an item with a lithium ion battery, you can find locations for hazardous waste removal on the city of Lexington's website.